gathered here in the sight of God and in the face of this congregation to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony. You see, it's an honorable estate instituted of God himself, signifying unto us the mystical union that is betwixt Christ and his church. Which holy estate Christ adores and beautifies with his presence and first miracles of his will, container of damage. And it's commended in holy writ to be honorable Therefore, it's not by any to be exercised in the taking of the unadvised, lightly, or wantonly, but reverently, discreetly, soberly, and in the fear of God, really considering the cause for which matrimony is ordained. First, it is ordained for the increase of mankind, according to the will of God, and that children might be brought up in the fear of ordained in order that the natural and infinite and effective example by God should be hallowed and directed around. And those who are called to God to this holy intent ought to have of the other, both in prosperity and adversity, into which holy estate these two persons present come now to be joined. Therefore, if any man can show any just cause why they may not lawfully be joined together, let him now speak, or else hereafter forever hold his peace. I require and charge you both as you answer at the dreadful day of judgment when the secrets of all hearts shall be disclosed. That if either of you know any impediment why ye may not be lawfully joined together in matrimony, ye do now confess it. For be ye well assured that so many as are coupled together otherwise than God's word doth allow are not joined together by God, neither is their matrimony lawful. William Arthur Philip Dewey. Wilt thou have this woman to thy wedded wife, to live together according to God's law in the holy estate of matrimony? Wilt thou love her, comfort her, honour and keep her, in sickness and in health, and forsaking all other, keep thee only unto her, so long as ye both shall live? Catherine Innsmouth, wilt thou have this man to thy wedded husband, to live together according to God's law in the holy estate of matrimony? Wilt thou love him, comfort him, honour and keep him, in sickness and in health, and forsaking all other, keep thee only unto him, so long as he both shall live. Who give us the wound to be married to this man? I, William Arthur Philip Louis. I, William Arthur Philip Louis. Take thee, Catherine Elizabeth. Take thee, Catherine Elizabeth. To my wedded wife. To my wedded wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. And thereto I give thee my troth. And thereto I give thee my troth. Take thee, William Arthur Philip Louis. Take thee, William Arthur Philip Louis. To my wedded husband. To my wedded husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better for worse. For better for worse. For richer for poorer. For richer for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. And thereto I give thee my truth. And thereto I give thee my truth.
us, O Lord, this ring, and grant that he who gives it and she who shall wear it may remain faithful to each other and abide in thy peace and favor and live together in love until their lives end. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. this ring I be wed, with this ring I be wed, with my body I be honour, with my body I be honour, and all my worldly goods with thee I share, and all my worldly goods with thee I share, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Eternal God, creator and preserver of all mankind, giver of all spiritual grace, the author of everlasting life, send thy blessing upon these thy servants, this man and this woman whom we bless in thy name, that living faithfully together, they may surely perform and keep the vow and covenant betwixt them made, whereof this ring given and received as a token and pledge. 